All right, guys, welcome back. So I'm at it again, day number two here in Algeciras, Spain. Uh, it's a sunny, beautiful day. Warm, but not super hot, just comfortable. Uh, really nice day out here. So I've taken lunch already. Now I wanna go out and just relax a little bit more, see what I can see, walk some different streets that I didn't walk last night. If you guys didn't see the other video walking around in the evening time, check it out. Uh, absolutely, it was a beautiful evening last night, so check that video out as well. Tomorrow I'll be signing onto the vessel. More vlogs will be forthcoming once I get uh, signed on board and find out what I'm doing. So, but for today, we're gonna enjoy Al Jazeera's one more time and I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's go. This city has a lot of history. I believe it was in the later 1300s, 1369 or so. It was reconquered by the Moors, actually. 10 years later, the city was totally destroyed. But then around 1704, it was refounded by Gibraltarian refugees. So the city remains here until this day, sitting right in the southern part of Spain, uh, right on the Mediterranean Sea here. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to go visit. So we're gonna walk around some more. Off to my left here in the distance is the port. We showed it in the video last night. I'll show a little bit more today. Means there's some sunlight. Uh, let you get another shot of that, including the Rock of Gibraltar. We'll be down at the bottom of the hill here in just a moment and I'll show you. So one other thing that I would add is just from walking around at night and again in the daytime, there's an overall sense of a safe environment walking around. I did not feel unsafe anywhere I went, uh, just walking around and I don't know you know you know the streets like someone who lives here but it feels very nice it's a pretty clean city everybody's very friendly uh speaking spanish some of them speak a little bit of english too i found some people that even spoke some portuguese uh so I'll, there's no problem here to communicate i don't think so and uh people are very friendly i see a lot of people just walking around families people walking around with their dogs a lot of people jogging riding bikes motor scooters just a nice, uh, really nice place just to go for a walk right here by the seaside. So in just a minute, I see the port, I see the cranes. I'm gonna try to give you guys a look at that in the daytime in just a minute. Okay, so the port is just up here. There's a crosswalk and I can show you the port. Again, in the, like I said, in the daylight, you'll be able to see the Gibraltar really well, more than last night, off there in the distance a little bit. And this is a busy street. I didn't walk down last night, so I'll walk down here. I am looking for uh, a souvenir or something to take home for a decoration, something from Spain, so I'll look for that. Shouldn't have any problem finding that. All right, so I've made it down to the beautiful port and it looks great today. So guys, Algeciras is a municipality of Spain, but it's part of the province of Cadiz, Andalusia. And right behind me, like I promised, is the Rock of Gibraltar. I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you guys look at it. And this is the beautiful port right behind me where I'll be going tomorrow. So let's take a look. So there's a bridge crossing over into the terminal there. I guess all the trucks travel that. All the container terminal, there's a large container ship there now. Merce container ship. Looks like a 400 meter vessel. And my ship should be sitting here tomorrow. The water looks nice today. So this is the Rock of Gibraltar. 
off in the foreground or back there. Take another look at it here. Zoomed out just a little bit so you can see in its entirety. Now, as I mentioned in the video last night, this is a British territory, strategic British territory, and it was known as one of the original pillars of Hercules, Rock of Gibraltar, or as they call it, the Rock. All right, guys. So I'm in the store. It's multi-level, beautiful department store. I'm trying to see if I see a section of like souvenirs. So see if there's anything up here, and then uh, I'll try to get out of here as quickly as possible. So I'm just walking down the street here by the seaport. There's some kebabs, pizza. Man, it smells good. Man, it smells really good. But there's some stores. I think I'm just going to go into the center of the city. And there's a million shops in there where I saw last night, most of which were closed. And I'm sure I'll find some cool stuff. So I'll just walk a little more here, and then I'll head up into town. There you go, Al Jazeera. That's the name of the city. So I'm going to turn here, walk into more of the central part of the city here from a different... Uh, locate you know location than we did last night I'm in a different part here so we'll see some different stuff but yeah it's really nice people are so friendly here and I'm just gonna walk around for a couple more hours and then go and get some dinner at the hotel and relax tonight they have crosswalks over here really nice and when you come anywhere near here the people always stop for you really 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 good here I like that all right so I want to look at this building it looks really fascinating and it reminds me of some of the buildings I saw in Mexico it's beautiful love all these palm trees here absolutely beautiful nice restaurant here and there's like some little tower I want to go back here and see what this actually is I don't know if it's like a lighthouse or what I'm gonna go find out so here's the restaurant really nice looking I just want to see what this actually is. It's really cool looking. So yeah, I was just reading about it. Edificio Perez Vialta. There's a little information there on the plaque too. And there is a lighthouse. And it's a place built to promote the relations between both sides of the Straits here. The Straits of Gibraltar. And which would be the Northern Europe side over there and southern european side or southern european side and the northern african side i'm sorry and to promote relations between the two sides so that's what this uh is for here beautiful place so it's really nice when you can actually go around and uh have time to try to learn about what you're looking at and not just see it so i'm sure there's a lot more information about it but it's really cool you see right behind me there lighthouse too so that's pretty cool right there now I want to cr walk across the street and look at that other building and try to see what that is if there's any information or it just might be an older building with no name on it or anything but we're gonna go look uh, right here behind me pretty beautiful structure there all right for some reason my GPS isn't really showing information on here but here we can look at the building And I don't know if it's open. Maybe it's not open for anything. Maybe there's nothing in there right now. It looks very well like it could be unoccupied. I'm not sure. Maybe that's why it's not showing anything on the GPS. Because the adjacent buildings are showing their hotels. So I'm not sure what this was. But I love the architecture. And the street here. We're going to walk up this direction and see what else we see. But yeah, really fascinating looking building. So sometimes what I do when I walk around different places around the world, I just walk around and try to get lost. I'm not gonna get lost here because I have been here before, uh, but uh, it's really cool just to go try to get lost, see things you haven't seen before. Because you know, no matter where you, you go, there's always something you didn't see the last time. So it's cool to see. This is a nice looking building here too. And Nice cool little street, so I don't know what's at the end of the street. We'll see in just a second, and then we'll continue walking. Uh, I'm gonna go try to find some more stuff that we didn't see last night. Here's looking back behind me, just beautiful. The colors and the blue sky contrasting. That's what drew me to walk down this street. 
So I've been in Spain before, different parts of Spain. I never truly understood like the times. I know some things are closed or only open in the morning. Man, it smells really good. Like a bakery there. It smells so good. Uh, so some things I think are only open in the morning time. Uh, like a souvenir shop that a lady told me about. So I'm not worrying about that right now. I just want to go see more sites. And also I know this is a place that I'll return again. It's not like this will be my last time in Spain. That's for sure. So there's a bunch of stores down here. I see a lot of like Arabic writing here. It's like a little supermarket. Uh, some of them have like Arabic writing on them. And uh, so here's another cool spot maybe to walk around and check out. More nice colors and I really like the sidewalk here. So guys, this is really, really beautiful neighborhood. So this could be the time of day where people are relaxing too. Uh, some stores are open and some are closed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking up here. It's a really cool looking street. Just one of those skinny streets that you don't drive on. This part you do, but up the next block you don't. And a lot of stores, really cool little district here. So I wanna show you guys. So just block after block after block. And they have really nice signs here. That's one thing I do notice. Everything's well labeled. And just really nice place to walk. Alright guys, so I'm coming up to the area where I was last night. You remember when I saw the cathedral and the nice area there. I made a big loop around and I've came back to the center part of the up here where I was last night. So I'll let you look at that in, in the daytime too, because it's really colorful. Uh, it was a beautiful night, but I'll let you see in the daytime as well. Just one second, it's right up here. And some of the colors stand out in the daytime too. So we'll take a look at it here in just a second. So there you go, that's the Chapel of Europe. Now watch the first video, the one I made in the evening walk around, because I show that and talked about that a little bit too, and it's beautiful at night. So check that other video out. This is like the little center park area here, I guess you might want to call it. Beautifully decorated, absolutely. There you can see the side of the chapel, intricate and well-maintained, just absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna walk over here and I'll show the cathedral that we saw last night in the daytime. And just look at the colors. Just look at this. Man. So nice to see. It's a beautiful at night, but it's a different uh, perspective in the daytime. So that's why I want to show this real quick again. So here we are again. Plaza Alta. The sun is right behind the tower, which makes it perfect for me right now. Alright guys, so I looked it up this... The cathedral opened in 1738. It's a Roman Catholic and it's called Our Lady of the Palm. Sitting here right on the corner in uh, Plaza Alta. Our Lady of the Palm. So if you want to look it up online, there's photos of the inside as well.
Okay, there's just another clothing store here. Off to the right is a beautiful restaurant. It's a really nice little spot here. The plaza here. And in the middle, there's a lot of uh, these wood structures here. It's all markets. You can buy all kinds of stuff inside as well. And the whole plaza is bordered by this beautiful colored gate. And these lamps, and there's a central fountain here. Not on right now, but there's a beautiful central fountain right here. So we'll just take a quick look at the plaza real quick in the daylight. Like I say, it looks different in the day than it does at night. Equally beautiful. So you know one thing in the nighttime, you see all the beautiful things illuminated. But in the day, you see all the colors. So, totally different. And it's just more colorful in the daytime. So tomorrow when I go to work, my feet will definitely be tired, but it's well worth it. When you get these opportunities, you just gotta seize it. Go walk and just see everything. Stuff that I've never seen before in the city here. And you just see how nice it is to walk here. So I'm gonna continue. I am heading back in the direction of where the hotel is now. It's quite a ways to go, but I'm heading in that direction. So we'll see a little bit more. Uh, hopefully the video doesn't get too long. But it's just really beautiful to see. This is the where I just was coming from the plaza. One block behind there. Little street here. And continue here. And what I really love is these colors. You know, I see that all the time in Spain. I saw a lot of that in Mexico. And look at this. Just beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going to stop and take some pictures as well. Nice restaurant here. So guys, I'm gonna head back to the direction where I came from. Um, I'm gonna probably have dinner within the next two hours uh, back at the hotel. I might stop and get something to drink on the way back. So it's been a really good walk around today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this walk around and please check out the other one. The one I did at the nighttime last night, walking around as well. It's a different, beautiful at night with things illuminated. So totally different. So come back and check that video out if you haven't already seen it. So I'm going to head back the direction where I came from now, just kind of backtracking. Uh, and then uh, after dinner tonight, I'm just going to relax. You know, I got to work tomorrow. So I want to get a little bit of rest tonight, get a good night rest. And then uh, we'll get started in the morning. So I'll definitely make some vlogs like, real soon. Uh, I'll get started really, really soon. And uh, do some short videos as well, really quick. So I'll be back real soon, and thanks for walking around with me in this beautiful city here, Algeciras, Spain. I absolutely love it here. I'd love to come back sometime. And thanks for watching the video, guys, and I will see you on the next one.